गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो मी आई एम डॉक्टर एस एस झा मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर एम बी ए इन फाइनेंस एंड पी एच डी फ्रॉम बनारस यूनिवर्सिटी इन फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट इन मैनेजमेंट हैज बीन माई सब्जेक्ट इन माई कैरियर ऑल्सो I am somewhat aware of the modern day management theory and practices. But I am going to discuss the management practices as has been given in detail in Valmiki Ramayana while describing the life events of ram they have not enunciated such principles in later but while discussing the events they have given in detail the management practices what they have adopted in different situations and we can be enlightened from those incidents and details thereof how they have been performed how they have been initiated and what action has been taken by different character of the epic all of you are aware that modern management theory and practices started from evolution of many practices by f w taylor and has been enriched by henry fuel drucker maslow porter and all of them who were practicing manager these many practices have changed over time considering the change in the environment and change in the requirement of the industry and business we often see that these many practices are adopted by the government also in some respect for public benefits similarly in ramayan also the kings were always see and working for the benefits of the public at large so we can see some of the events analyze them and see see that they are almost similar to what practices we are adopting in the present management time most of you are aware the planning is the first function of management it may be product planning it may be project planning resource planning on human resources plan any job you start is with detailed planning then it gets success similarly was the case and events described in ramayan also the important events even for coronation of ram by dasrath was done or was planned in advance on the advice of guru basist to dasrath they have planned to coronate ram but somehow it has fizzled due to certain events that we are going to discuss that all but planning was done similarly we see that any job even going to lanka by hanuman coronating 
सुग्रीव एज किंग ऑफ किसकंधा कोरोटिंग विभीषण एज द किंग ऑफ लंका एंड इवन वार वॉज द फॉट बाय रामा विथ ए गुड सेंस ऑफ प्लानिंग सो दैट दे कैन विन द Later, when Rama became the king, he made lot of planning in respect of tax taxation, in respect of what was important for the people, and how they should how they should behave, how they should work, and what they should do. These all have been described in different chapters of Valmiki Rama. now let us see the second function which is organization organizing staffing and human resource development this job starts with selection process an organization organized by selecting certain people in case of ram also when he became the king he was selected purely on the merit because in balkan group assist what quality of ram has got to be a king he was educated well under guru basist he was trained by viswamit in warfare practical training and he was liked by all the people of ajodhya so it was decided to make him the king purely on merit similarly when the longest bridge was made between india and lanka nal and neel were appointed as the main person or you can say in modern day project manager for making the budget on the basis of the expertise and knowledge he has got so leadership skill and decision process was similar and organized on merit similarly in other case sugriv sent all all the monkeys or all their persons all their soldiers for searching lanka making them four different groups and you see delegation of power comes here he has delegated full power to the captain of the group how he should perform the job and what job he has to perform as described in sundarkand Angad was made the chief, and he has was assigned the task of searching Sita. Not more than that, not bringing Sita from Lanka. And that's why, in the Sarg fifty nine, when he says that I am going to fight and bring Sita, and then go to Ram, that was not allowed by Jamband, who was a acting as the advisor of the group lot of instances are there where decision making delegation of power was completely given to one person and the, and the authority and responsibility goes along with that even in the war there were so many persons equally veterans in war but sugriv was made as the senapati or captain from ram side because of his acceptability his acceptability amongst the soldiers naturally 
the good delegation of power, authority and responsibility was given and a continuity was established, there was success in all the events. Nowadays, the most common amongst the managers are a strategic formulation and a strategic planning. So many cases in Valmiki Ramayana has been described regarding a strategic formulation and a strategic planning for any activity. Even King Dasarath has made a strategic formulation for quarantine Ram. But that could not succeed in the beginning. A very good example of a strategic formulation is shown and has been described when Mantra makes a strategy to make Bharat as the king as against the wish of King Dasrath making Ram as the king. You can see a maid servant of KKE formulates a strategy and his first task was to convince KK that Bharat should be given the kingdom. That was not easy because KK was equally loving Ram. So he has to, Mantra has to make certain strategy and convince her what will happen in future if Bharat becomes the king or Ram becomes the king. And ultimately, Mantra, ultimately, KK agrees, and then another strategy formulated, which has been well described in Ajodhya account, where Rath house is developed, and Dasrath has to agree for mass coronation and exile of Ram. Similarly, a strategy was formulated by Hanuman because he has to meet Ravan and persuade him to return to Sita to Rama. But he was not finding what he should do. He has seen Sita, but how to meet Ravan? So he formulates a strategy. He feels he has got four options. Most of you know those four options. That is, Sam, Dand, Ved, and Dham. That means you treat on equality, Sam, but that was not possible because the Rathsas were considered them superior. You divide them. That was also not possible by Hanuman. You lure them down, but they were themselves very rich. So ultimately Hanuman decides only dand, that means making war and destroying Ashok Bhatka is the only way to meet Ravan. So then a strategy was promoted. He destroyed Ashok Bhatka, killed some of the soldiers and even son of the king so that he meets the Rava. Though he has not succeeded in persuading Rama, but his second strategy was if he is not succeeding and what he should do to punish Rava. He burns Lanka, sees complete Lanka and See that all the 
the arms ammunition, most of them are destroyed so that Ravan become weak and in the war he will get the benefit. So this was a strategy formulation. Second aspect we see nowadays most important, most of the managers are concerned with short analysis that is strength, weakness, opportunity and threat. That has also been well described in Sundar Kant when Hanuman makes short analysis he scans complete city and finds what are the strength of Ravan and what is the strength what are his strength a competitive study when his tail is burned, he sees an opportunity and gets the Lanka fired. He has to find the weakness of Ravan. In his meeting with Ravan, he says that Ravan is haughty. He does not believe in his subordinates. He only decides, that's what his weakness. He is not allowing in delegation of power. So all these things went against him, that's what the weakness. These weaknesses were used while fighting with Rava. And lastly, threat. What threat he gets from Rava? He has seen that Ravan has great warriors who were very, were having great strength as well as he has seen that the city is protected well with the great walls and canals around them. So all this and he has analyzed and when war is there he uses all of them or advises Ram to use them. A short analysis. Next we come to miscellaneous aspects. That means nowadays it is most common to form a strategic alliance in Ramayana also Balmik has mentioned two important strategic alliances by Ram. One was the Sukri and another was Bivisa. Though he met Sugriv first, but he was aware that Bali was, Bali was having more strength than Sugriv. But still he preferred Sugriv for a strategic alliance because he sees an opportunity on the equality basis. Similarly, second alliance with Vivisan was also made despite the warning from his courtiers, but he sees again another opportunity. And both these alliances were made on the equality basis, that in both the party should have win-win situation. In a strategic alliance, if anything or wave is tilted towards one person, the other get offended. That's why it always should be kept in mind that any strategic alliance, both parties should have win-win situation. Then only the alliance goes for longer time. Next point, we come to decision making. So many distances are there for decision making. Well, wrong or right decisions have been made. But in Ramayana, it has been mentioned that wherever decisions have been made on, uh, on analyzing the facts and seeing that what will be the result, thinking detail in that consequences, 
the decision taken by any party has become successful. Let it be Hanuman or even Ravan or even Mantra. But it has been mentioned that any impulsive decision are just having very bad effect on the organization or the people or the persons attached with that. The impulsive decision of Sita to force Ram to bring the golden deer resulted into her abduction and finally fight with Ravan. Similarly, Impulsive decision of Dasarath to KKE that whatever she demands he will fulfill that also resulted into great disaster. Therefore, it should be avoided by present managers also. All the decisions should be made on the factual basis. Another important point from the main point of view, we learn from Ramayana that if any commitment is made, it should not be pending. Because you are making commitment to third party, as has been the case by King Dasrath himself to KKE to complete her two wishes, has got the disastrous effect because it was kept pending for a long time. Because if commitment is made, commitment is kept long, pending for a long time, you may be caught on the wrong feet. So there are, so there are many such instances, succession planning. Sugri was succeeded, but Bali's son was also given assurance or was given the promised by Sugriv that he will be king after Sugriv so that it has got the acceptance of larger people. Since Vivasan was Vivasan succeeded Ravan and he got acceptance. So therefore there are many instances in management, many instances in Balmik Ramayana from which the modern managers also can know so many practices and which may be helpful, helpful for human beings and advantage to the mankind. Thank you all. Jai Sri Ram.